Good morning, my friends. It is day 76 of Be Formed. Two more weeks left in season two, and uh, I misspoke yesterday. I want to make sure I clarify uh, registration ends on August 17th. So the hard close on August 17th so we can get people into small groups and get your books out. Also save the date, August 12th, closing mass and celebration for season two of Be Formed and more details to come. And I wanna challenge you for season three. Invite at least one person to join us. Um, might be a friend, might be a family member. Uh, we have a group that are doing uh, family members and you know they're, they're bonding in ways that they never had before. My own brother is uh, in my small group and that's been tremendous for our relationship as well. So challenge you to invite somebody. Everybody's got to register by August 17th. Today we're going to look at 2794, 95, and 96, uh, the phrase, who art in heaven. So you ever thought about where is heaven? This addresses that. 2794, heaven is not a place. Um, it's not a space, it says, but it's a way of being. Uh, and so if we think of it as not a, not a place because we believe that God the Father does not have a body. Jesus took on flesh, uh, but the Holy Spirit and God the Father uh, don't, do not have a body. So heaven is not a place or a space, but it's a way of being. I know uh, when I celebrate Mass, I sense the presence of my mom and dad in a different way than even when they were here on earth. And so heaven and earth meet uh, at mass and the sacraments and in, in different places in our lives. So God is not distant, but he's majestic. I remember Bishop Barron teaching us in our Doctrine of God class that God is both imminent and transcendent. So God is as imminent and close to us as we can possibly imagine living within us in the Holy Spirit, but he's also majestic and, and transcendent. God is both and. Um, and it says God is beyond anything that we can even imagine. Our wildest imagination of how God is and can be, it's beyond that. And as soon as we think we understand God or understand heaven, let it go because we cannot understand it completely. St. Augustine said, God resides in our hearts as in his holy temple. Um, just like in the Holy of Holies, they believe God resided there or here in this chapel. You know, the Lord is in this tabernacle, but he's in our hearts through our baptism. 2795 says, the heavens refers to the mystery of the covenant we are living. So uh, our Father's house is our, is our homeland. That's our ultimate goal is to be in our Father's house. And so we can taste heaven while we're here on earth when we're in relationship with the Holy Trinity. Sin exiles us from the land of that covenant. Sin separates us from God. And conversion of heart, confession, asking God for forgiveness is what brings us back into relationship with the Trinity, which actually helps us to experience heaven on earth. That's the Kerygma. Remember, you're created in, in, in God's image and likeness. He's got a great plan for your life. Sin separates us. Jesus died for our sins to bring us back into relationship. He paid the price, and now it's our response. So in Christ, heaven and earth are united and reconciled. In the person of Jesus, God became man, literally. And so when we're living with Christ, when we're united with Christ in, in, in prayer, in, in the Eucharist, uh, we are tasting uh, heaven. So it says Jesus descended into heaven so that we can rise with him through his uh, passion, death, and resurrection, and ascension. Finally, 2796, our Father who art in heaven says that we are the people of God. We're already seated with him in the heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So again, it's we're here now, but we're also, you know, as we're living in union with the Trinity, we're, we're with, you know, we're experiencing heaven here on earth. And it says, yet we groan and we long to put on our heavenly dwelling. So we know when we're here on this earth that we're, we're not in complete union with God. There's
pieces of us through original sin and our fallen nature that we're, we're not tasting heaven in its fullness, but we can get glimpses of it. And so we groan and wait for that day when we can come face to face with God. There's a quote in here, Christians are in the flesh, but do not live according to the flesh. So we have these bodies, but we don't let our bodies rule us. Um, and, uh, you know, so we live in this world, but we're not of the world. In the flesh, but not of the flesh. So let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Heavenly Father, help us to experience heaven on earth. Help us to turn away from sin, to live in union with you, uh, and to taste your goodness, taste uh, the reality of heaven that we want to experience for all eternity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed everyone, and we will see you tomorrow.